Hello everybody. This morning we got up early and went for a walk in the hills behind Passignano, which is a lovely town on the banks of Lake Trasimeno. We parked at Schwalzo Beach because then it means that after the walk we can go and have a lovely swim in the lake. To get to the beach you turn left at the On The Road Ristorante. And there's lots and lots of parking and the Il Porto bar is really nice for a drink too before you set off. On the main road there is this archway through the wall and the road takes you up through olive groves into the hills. It's a long road and it does go uphill but it isn't very steep and there are lovely views over the lake. When you get to the top, there is a very big map which shows you all the different walks that you can do in the area. We just turned right and went straight up the hill to the top this morning and back again which took about an hour and a half. So it was only quite a short walk but there are much much longer walks which take 12 and 16 kilometres. Our walk took us through lovely olive groves and there were beautiful views across the lake and the islands. The baby olives were just starting to swell on the trees and we tried to think of things that we already knew about olives and olive trees. We knew that an olive branch was a symbol of peace and that some flags like the United Nations use this symbol of peace. We also knew that Van Gogh was really fascinated by the twisted trunks of the olive trees and that he painted lots and lots of pictures of olive groves and this is one of his most famous ones. But there were lots of other things that we didn't know. For example, why are some olives black? Do they dye them? Or do black olives grow on different trees? And how do you make olive oil from the olives? And how many olives does it take to make a bottle of olive oil? And why are there so many different olive oils? There were just so many questions that we didn't know the answer to, so we needed to remember those till we got back home. When you first plant olive trees, the trunks are quite straight and thin, but they grow into very, very twisted shapes. And all of them are different. Why do you think this one is leaning over? A lot of the trunks have got splits in like this one and it's great fun to put your head through and have your photograph taken. This picture was when we were halfway up. You can see the rocker at the bottom and a lovely panorama of the lake and the islands that are in the lake. As we approached the top of the hill, we saw this really strange object. Lizzie is taking a close look. What do you think it could be? The views from the top are quite spectacular, showing you all of Passignano and the lake and the islands and the surrounding hills. If you'd like to find out more about Van Gogh and his paintings of olive trees, then go on the internet and do a search. But remember, you must always have an adult with you or an adult's permission before you use the internet. 
This is probably his most famous paintings of olive trees. See if you can find out the title. And if you'd like to learn about how olive oil is made, then here is a link for you. We found lots of interesting facts about olive trees and olives on this link. And you'll find lots more walks on our own website, which is www.jumblefun.net. So that's bye from me, Georgie, and Jumble House for now.